all righty good afternoon 12 45 p.m friday guys we got the arts and crafts festival this weekend over in our neck of the woods plus we have the entire highway 78 yard sales going on so we're going to cruise on down to the uh, arts and crafts festival and uh, we'll pick you up a little photos and and video maybe there and well who knows we may also head back over to bob's house of honda kind of eyeing some new helmets and stuff so uh, but more to come appreciate you riding along okay folks we're coming into uh our destination and uh they've got yard sales all along to the highway and uh, we're going to turn here and head out toward the lake area where there's a big arts and crafts festival here every year uh, this is in tiptonville Tennessee and it's uh, 74 degrees uh, they're doing road construction so that's slow to some too but then it's uh, just a heavy traffic period here so we're gonna ride out the traffic and see how this plays out today we brought our little 55 Bel Air in case we buy some stuff at the Arts and Crafts Festival we'll have a way to carry it home and uh, people line up everything bikes cars all kinds of stuff I see for sale as we go down so hopefully we'll beat most of the traffic seeing that it's just one o'clock but I suspect that once uh, Three or four o'clock comes along and everybody starts getting off work. Uh, it's going to be very busy and tomorrow is incredible. Uh, it's almost impossible to get down here. So unless you get here very early, or sometimes we can come in the back way. But let's just see how it plays out. Hopefully we can uh, easily find a parking spot. We'll see, so let's ride down. During COVID, of course, there was cutback. They may have canceled one year, and then uh, I believe last year they went ahead with it. I'm sure attendance was down. So this is resurgence there's the sign real foot arts and crafts festival so. lawn equipment and boats for sale too start getting into some congestion here I see. So we'll slow down and get ready to ease through here.
shoulders are out. Looks like a packed house this time. It looks like all the vendors are back. That's good. Well, I smell the food. usually go down on the far end and park then walk back so we're gonna roll down there at least rolling through here you'll get a, a view of the traffic and the vendors the big festival
so we're going to need to find a spot to park. So we can walk down to the festival. stop the camber at this point we'll pick up later go in the nature center oh, okay so they put in a nature center oh yes and the copperhead Ooh. copperhead Hi, my name is Chip. I'm Eastern Screech Owl. But I don't... Oh, there he is, over there. Okay. Look at... Timber Cane Creek. Let's see. See the cat now? Let's see the cat. Yeah, I do. Okay. Let's back up and get a big view. Timber cane break. Huh. All right. So they've opened them up a new center here. Well, there you go, folks. You got to see a little bit. All right, let's go inside the State Park R.C. Donaldson Memorial Museum. Collection from Mr. R.C. Donaldson, a distinguished attorney, local historian, naturalist, and amateur archaeologist. There's his collection. Oh, arrowheads and pottery, such. Okay, let's go over here and see what uh, is in the other section now. Yeah. 
have any more to go. I've lost everything that I have with you. Sorry. Uh -huh. Well, I treat ours, you know, we keep ours on the cover, though. Yeah. Well, I treat them anyway. Yeah, those are swings. But we don't need that, Joe. We don't need it. Okay. Well, there we go, folks. That gives you a little snapshot of what we've got going on here in Real Foot. Alrighty. We gotta walk down, pick up our bike and stuff, and come back and pick up some purchases. And, uh, and we're probably gonna head to Jackson. House of Honda, Bob's House of Honda. We're looking for new helmets. So we're gonna make our way back now. All right, hope you enjoyed.